What's up guys, it is Chris back with another watch video and today we're talking about news from Yema. Before I get into it, please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon, it is super helpful for the channel. Helps me bring you these news videos that I hope you guys enjoy. So getting right into it, the iconic 1970s retro futuristic LED collection reissue. In the 1970s, Yema launched its first LED display watch. This reissue pays tribute to that historic quartz crisis period during which the watchmaking industry was turned upside down with the release of bold designs equipped with non-mechanical movements that were affordable and reliable. The Yema LED reissue perfectly captures the 1970s retro futuristic style while being functional and stylish. Yema's LED collection reissue is made of two models, in silver, which comes in at $249, and then in a plated gold, which is $279. These come in at 37.5 millimeters wide, 10.5 millimeters thick. They are made out of 316L stainless steel. They get a mineral crystal and 100 meters water resistance. So essentially these work very similarly to Hamilton's Pulsars, they have an always on display. That always on display is not extremely bright. And then there is a button on the side. You press that button and it lights the LEDs brighter uh, so that you could see the time a little bit brighter. If you press that button a second time, it will display the date. And then if you press it button again a third time, it will display the seconds. So obviously very, very close to how the Pulsar works. This is obviously aimed at the Pulsar. Uh, a very affordable version though. Uh, these do come on a bracelet. The bracelets look like they are actually pressed bracelets uh, and it has a very simple clasp on them. The clasp is signed, uh, but again, $249 for that stainless steel version, $279 for the plated gold version. I think these are actually really well priced. You do get mineral crystals rather than a sapphire crystal. Not sure why they went that route. Uh, however, uh, again, these are way cheaper than the Pulsars that recently came out from Hamilton. Definitely them taking aim at Hamilton, trying to come out with something that's a little bit more affordable. And these are obviously way more affordable, actually. I think about uh, less than half the price of those Hamiltons. Uh, but they aren't as nice as those Hamiltons. The Hamiltons have solid bracelets. These have uh, pressed bracelets and, uh, and the clasp look like they are pressed as well. But again, you're getting a lot of that style, a lot of that functionality, and essentially the same functionality for $249 uh, on that stainless steel version. Uh, but tell me what you think of these watches in the comments below. I think they are good looking watches. I always have thought that these are good looking watches. Uh, again, uh, Yema recently had a very successful Kickstarter, uh, and this is off the back of that successful kiss Kickstarter. These are actually available today. Uh, in the Yema store. So you could actually buy these today. They are shipping immediately. So if you are interested, definitely check out their website, add a comment below. Tell me what you think of these watches. I wanna hear from you guys, as I mentioned. Please also don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon. It is super helpful for the channel. Helps me bring you these news videos, helps me bring you reviews. So please don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell icon so you're alerted when news comes out. Also, please follow me on Instagram. My Instagram is watchchrisblog. I have some links in the description. Those links are to Amazon. If you click those links and buy anything, it doesn't have to be the items I've actually linked to. It doesn't cost you anything extra or interrupt your prime benefits. However, it helps support the channel and I very much appreciate it. Anyway, thank you for logging on today and I will catch you guys in the next video.